While the energy uh, in energy industry gathers in New York tonight. The auto industry is coming together on the opposite coast. Right now, the final preparations are underway for the Los Angeles Auto Show. It officially opens its 10 day run in Southern California tomorrow. The event will feature 11 concept cars and seven new models will make their world debut. Now, earlier today, Tyler, Clean Skies Tyler Suters talked with one of the insiders at the show. Lauren Fix is the car coach joining us from the Los Angeles Auto Show right now. And Lauren, let's start with the big news. The winner of the green car of the year. Is the Audi A3 turbo diesel, the TDI car. And it really just hit every single aspect that was possible. And green car of the year is the Audi A3 TDI. Uh, and there's also a real emphasis on uh, green or eco-friendly cars this year, including some fully electric vehicles that are on display this year too, right? Right, there are many of them, of course, you know, we all know of Prius and when we think of hybrids, it's the first thing that comes to mind. But Mitsubishi came up with the PX MIEV and this is a, more of a, a concept car, but they're talking about making this re a reality. It's a plug-in hybrid. As you can see, it's a little bit different than what we think of yeah, a, a hybrid. A lot different, and right. And it, it's really, <laughs> right, it's a lot different. But you know, this is what we're going to be driving in the future and I think that's something that people want to know about. Uh, if it comes to all electric, people want to know that. I mean. You're looking at almost every manufacturer coming up with something unique. Uh, you're even looking at Honda. They've got something called the Peanut, which is really a cool car because what it is, it's a personal vehicle. So instead of being a, such a large vehicle, we're looking at a plug-in vehicle that is just a touch smaller. And now on this one, you can see that is really edgy. They're talking about this. You know, you know how Honda works. They, they'll make this happen or something close to it. Personal Neo Urban Transport Peanut is an ultra-compact, aggressive design. And... Uh, this is obviously a concept, but uh, who knows what we'll be seeing on the road in the future. But if they're exciting to drive, people want to buy them, the sales are going to be there. And that's part of what the green car of the year is always about talking about what's out there right now and what's coming down the road. And there's a lot of great cars. Audi's got cars. Every, almost every single manufacturer has some sort of hybrid or some sort of alternative fuel coming to, to concept from there to production. Well, as eye-catching as those models are, Lauren, from Mitsubishi and from Honda, it seems like there's a real strong emphasis right now on what is available. And that is essentially the hybrid cars. And they're out in plenty right now in Los right. Angeles, correct? Absolutely. Well, you're seeing them a lot in New York and D.C. and Dallas where there's a lot of, lot of traffic. And anywhere there's traffic, people are thinking hybrid is a great choice. And it truly is. If you sit in traffic and the car isn't going anywhere and basically you park on the highway, it, you should always consider a hybrid. But if you, you live out in the country and you're driving, you know, the longer drives and you're never going below 40 miles an hour other when you're stopping at a traffic light, then a regular fuel economy car gives you a lot of choices. And you're looking at V6 cars that are pulling into the 30 miles to the gallon. We're looking at V8s that are getting into the high 20s. And this is all because of composite plastics. I know plastics make it possible, which is what we've all heard. But when they're looking at composites and lightening up frames and making cars safer, better design, and of course, the whole car itself, making it lighter, means you're going to get better fuel economy, and that's really what it's all about. Such an emphasis on MPGs right now, especially with the current administration and the yes. Cash for Clunkers program. Lauren Fix is the car coach mm -hmm. joining us from the Los Angeles Auto Show in Southern California. Lauren, great to have you with us again. Thank you, Tyler.